So today we're going to be reviewing another Osipos product and this time we have the IOTA L24 AIO cooler. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may sindiki ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com we previously reviewed their A62 black air cooler and we've noted there that they have a very specific design language and a focus on aesthetics. And the AOTA L24 AIO continues that trend. For specs, it has a 280W TDP. It supports Intel LGA 11 5X, 1200, 1700, and 1851. However, for AMD, it only supports AM4 and AM5. So particularly, older AMD CPUs are not supported. For the pump, it has an advertised 3,100 RPM and less than 27 dBA noise level. For the fans, of course, it features two 120mm fluid dynamic bearing fans with a speed of up to 2,000 RPM. The advertised max airflow is 77 CFM and noise level is less than 29 dB. While the fans are not RGB, the pump is RGB with a display, which we'll get to in a bit. So as we've said, the Osipos brand has a particular design language and target aesthetic. And we have to talk about that pump design first. The pump has that simplistic display that tells you the current CPU temperature, which is also featured in the A62. For the pump aesthetics, they have this sort of glowing halo effect in the floating display, which is accomplished by this kind of curved glass that caps the whole pump and houses the display as well as the RGB. The special thing here is that the RGB is kind of hidden so that you don't see the individual diodes of the RGB. And what you're left with is that you only see the glow for this. So if you're like me, uh, you like RGB, but you don't want to overstate it or you don't want it to be super tacky, this is perfect for you. And that's basically the design language for the Osipos brand. They have this very particular aesthetic, which remains to be minimalistic but still very tasteful. And honestly, you either like it or you don't. Of course, the main accent color for Osipos is still that yellow gold thing. So it either works for your overall aesthetic for the build or it doesn't. So for us here at Harvey Sugar, we really like this because we're also fans of the pro art design. And yeah, we really like this aesthetic. Of course, while aesthetic is important, the main thing for AIO is can it cool your CPU? So for testing, we have a 9800X3D system and we ran our usual Cinebench R24 tests and here are the results. Average temperature for the 9800X3D cooled by the IOTA L24 is 74.45 with a max temperature reaching 84 degrees. Total Cinebench R24 score is 1302 and we also saw the CPU package power to reach 144 maximum watts. While unfortunately we didn't have an AIO to compare it with, we pitted it against the Freezer 36 for some reason and we saw that the Freezer 36 kind of hit the 90 degree mark while still scoring a bit lower than the IOTA L64 but not reaching its maximum CPU package power. That goes to show that some AIOs are still better than air coolers but that really depends on the context and your system build. Aside from the performance, another noteworthy feature of the cooler itself is the very solid build quality. The mounting system and basically how you mount this thing to the CPU is very easy. 
and from what we can tell it's very stiff and would provide enough contact with the CPU. Unlike some of the sketchier mounting systems from other budget brands. While Osipus is fairly new in the DIY PC building space, you can clearly see that they have a deep understanding of what DIY is. The mounting system and basically everything about it is user-friendly. Most of its features are not over-engineered. Plus the little stuff like the fans here are already pre-installed, which is really still a mystery why other brands still have them separate from the radiator itself. And basically, that's it. The whole thing about Osipos is their simplicity. But it's not too simple that it's missing out on some of the features that you need. This is currently priced at around 4,750 pesos. And I know what you're thinking, there are a lot of more affordable AIOs out there. But in our experience, they rarely have that performance, that build quality, and the premium aesthetics that this cooler has. And I know that we get a lot of flack about this, we get a lot of hateful comments about this. The aesthetics of the component and the overall look of your PC build once you install that component is a valid and significant deciding factor for your purchase decision. And that's just the reality of it. Else there wouldn't be a lot of market for the Lian Lees, for the Fractal Terras out there, for the Corsair and all their RGB, for the NZXTs. And that's essentially one of the more fun aspects of PC building. It's really up to you, it's very personal and you can customize it however you want. There isn't a lot of rules regarding aesthetics. So that's why we talk a lot about aesthetics. Of course, with the performance to back it up with. And based on our tests, we know that the IOTA L24 is a very solid choice for your next PC build. So if you're looking for a budget cooler with the premium aesthetics to back it up, we highly recommend the Osipos IOTA L24. Thank you for watching.